Hey fans, great to have you with us for the Eastern Conference Play-In Tournament. Seven and eight seeds going at it for postseason qualification. And tonight, we've got the Indiana Pacers playing against the New York Knicks. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And from the sidelines tonight, we have David Aldridge. of the pick and roll. See, Sting realizes exactly how to break down defenses. It's worthy high post. Got that bucket. So decisive on offense. I like seeing him go right up with the game. Here is C Sting. He's guarded by Johnson. C Sting passes to Trabuca. On the wing. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. It's tough to deny him those mid-range look. English is creative at getting to his spots and uses that high release point to convert. And that one's good. Ruben. Nice pass, creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. Pass to English. up on the elbow. His shot is good, making a perfect two for two from the floor. The thing that Alex English does best, score. Cook looking it over. Wishball passes to Ruland. Over Lanier. And that one's good. Ruland. Ruland's got six. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in a game to build a rhythm. Here's English. Rebounded by Ruin. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that in his mind. He continue to fire away when he gets that kind of You've got to set those feet. Great call for the situation, too. No doubt he was moving there. And the Knicks making a change here. Redmond's checked in. it over to Worthy. Pass to Westfall. Indiana moving it around. Shot clock at six. The 11-footer, and again, it's Indiana. Showing us his skills as a shooter. Westfall is pretty undeniable. Knicks trail by four. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. 
This is why the D must stay up on English. He's thinking of shooting as soon as he touches it. Here is Cook. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Robinson against Johnson. Lock at six. English pulls it in. The Knicks have gone four or five from the field so far. The shot's good from Whitman. And that ties it up. Savvy decision by English with the ball. Getting it to a guy who has a better chance of scoring. Cook gets it over to Worthy. Pass to Ruin. Here's Westfall. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Good work there as it goes. Westfall's got his second bucket. The Knicks have gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. Here is Seasting. Here's Wetman. Here's English. And the call to five, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Now it's English using some deceptive strength right there to get that shot up and down through contact. Johnson with the bounce pass. Westfall. That's good. And it's Johnson with the assist. Westfall's got his third basket of the night. No hesitation for Westfall. This is how lethal he is off the catch. Seasting passes to English. Here's Robinson. Moves back up. And that's two points on the way. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The Pacers have gone seven and eight from the field to start the game. Very hot shooting. As to Westfall. Puts it up. Put the line by Indiana. Cook kicks to Johnson. Tries again. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one fall. Fighting back and forth for the lead. Man, this is a real battle. Well, I just wonder who will be the first to stop giving up ground. So far, it's been tight. Here's Lanier. To get open is Robinson. Oh, Lanier. Lanier. That's good. Fantastic job on the interior. Lanier has a number of shots to choose from inside. And the Pacers call time here. points a game. And the shot goes in from Lanier. And the chess match part continues. Seven exchanges of the lead. And we're still in the first half. Now, here's Worthy. Last game he had 12. Johnson gets the bucket. Well, Johnson has his feet ready now. He's shot prepared. All he needs is the ball. Here is Seasting. Here is Seasting. Six to shoot. Here's Lanier. It's tipped. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Johnson. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Gliding up the floor. Johnson moves so well and outworks the defense in transition. Seasting passes to Lanier. 
Here is Seasting. Pass to Wedman. English, high post. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. English has got 11. Alex English has a sweet jumper. A bit unorthodox, but nonetheless sweet and effective. Cook the pass to Johnson. On the top of the key, it's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. So many different tricks up his sleeve. Makes him a tough matchup. To the right side. Redmond the pass to English. Plays it up and banks it in. English. He's got 13. Yeah, finding looks has not been a problem for English so far. Playing with a ton of confidence on that end of the floor. Pass to Johnson. And it falls over the rim and in. And the Pacers lead by three. This is clearly a man on fire. Was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. English, high post. English draws the double. Lanier, the pass to Wedman. English with it. 13 points in the game. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Time so out, the Pacers out. call timeout. Their first of the game. Here's McKenna. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Pass to Johnson. Pulls it up. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Johnson's got 14. I think Johnson is asserting himself nicely so far. And the stroke on his shot has looked really good. McKenna passes to English. With a nice touch off the glass. He's got 17. Nice work operating right under the hoop. Going on the attack inside. Johnson right side. That's tipped. Here's Wetman. Pass to McKinney. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Mark, this has been an absolute war here in the first half. A battle royale partner. Each team really trying to establish itself, and the lead just keeps going back and forth. Here's McKenna. Here's Johnson. Pins the shot with nobody near him. And the Pacers lead by one. Right from the jump, these teams have been on fire offensively. It certainly made this an exciting early game. Passes just keep falling. Back to English. Offensive rebound. Jones. A shot goes in. First shot, first basket. It's simple. You got to get a body into your man. Box out if you want to rebound the ball. Defensive rebounding is about effort. Trying. Being willing to put a body on someone. Now here's White. Still scoreless. Pass to Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Johnson, double team. He brings it as the shot clock ticks down. I love how he didn't panic when he was double teamed. Good at surveying the defense and passing out of it. McKinney kicks to Jones. Now, here's English. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Just good fundamental play. If a guy is this open, you feed him. Edwards passes to White. 
Here's McKenna. He's guarded by English. A 17-footer. And again, it's Indiana converting. And he has been dialed in since the tip with his shot. Great output from him so far. McKinley passes to English. Eight away. Shays with the rebound. You know, on that shot, I'd like to see him go straight up with it. Here's Edwards. A shot goes in. First shot, first pass. Love the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Inside and outside action. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's McKinney. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Here's English. And that comes off the assist by Jones. English has got 21. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. The first quarter all wrapped up in an exciting game so far. Pacers lead by one. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. you back to the second quarter of this exciting play-in game. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Pacers. The defense has been giving them plenty of mid-range jumpers, and they've been making them pay for that mistake. Yeah, and another thing is they found the open man. Really being unselfish with the ball and making the extra pass. Here's McKenna. After the made shot from Alex English. Ruling. It's hauled in by McKinney. Well, we've seen him make this shot often with no defensive coverage. He's got to be kicking himself he didn't make that one. Now, here's English. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. English has got the lead up to three now for the Knicks. Well, the numbers say it all. He's been feeling it tonight. Outside, Edward. with the rebound. And the defense wasn't horrible, but still, he's got to come through there. There wasn't enough resistance to prevent him from scoring that one. Indiana. The Pacers making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. First team foul. Into the lineup for Indiana. Number eight, Eddie Johnson. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Gets it to go. Hits off the back of the rim. Johnson's got 20 points. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. McKinney kicks to English. The 17 foot. That's good on the jump shot. English has got the lead. Back up to five now for New York. When you attack, hold nothing back. There's no room for self-doubt or hesitation. After McKenna. Johnson outside. Buries it down low. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. An explosive athlete. Eddie Johnson can beat you down low. English, high post. From 18 feet away. And again, it's New York. He's been a big factor here in the first half. Scoring in bunches. Here's McKenna. Johnson left side. A 17-footer. That one's in there. The New York leaders fall down now to just three on the bucket from Edwards. Great job getting it to the open man. Johnson, an excellent teammate. McKinney, pass to English. Fader on the way, and it's good off the back rim at the end. English has got 31. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. And the Pacers call time here. Jack in. 
And it's Kaminsky in for Wedman. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Edwards looking it over. Indiana moving the ball around. Pass to Johnson. Outside Edwards. Six on the shot clock. Down it goes. Is their basket. He's now three for four. Defender tries to lock it down, but he is totally committed to the shot. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. English dishes to Kaminsky. Outside, English. It's good. English has got the lead up to five now for New York. Pacers have gone four of six in the field here in the second. Outside, Edwards. Here's Johnson. And yep, and he drives it rolling around the rim. Johnson's got 24 points. And so it's New York with it. Here's McKinney. English left side. Fades back. The rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Pacers. It's a three-point game. Cool. Got to clog up these lanes. Otherwise, Johnson will rip right through them. Here's McKinney. Pass to England. Shoots over Johnson. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. English has got 35 in the game. The Pacers have gone 6 of 8 from the field in the second quarter. To the left wing. Woods the pass to Shade. It's White on the wing. Here's Johnson. And that one drops for him. 28 points for him. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. Here's McKinney. Here's English. Up and in on the wing. A well-timed feed was the catalyst for that bucket. That's how you set someone up for success. And the Pacers call time here. thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes off. Seasting passes to English. It's good. English. 39 points for Alex English. Nice clean floater by English sending the shot on a nice soft high arc to get it over the defense there. It's worthy high post. Pass to Johnson. Shoots from the high post. Sapuka grabs the board. New York leading by three. To the paint. It's tipped. There's Seasting. And the call will be against Alex English. That is his first foul of the game. For Indiana, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. Cook the pass to Westfall. shot and he sinks the way Westfall's got eight points wherever Westfall gets the rock he's more than capable of 
putting it in the basket. Pass to Lanier. English outside. Here is Seasting. Here's Trapuca. Last game with 30 points. Shot clock at three. That one good for two. And the Knicks lead by three. Look at the touch on Trapuca's jumper. He puts just enough power behind him. Here's Westfall. English with some nice defense. And how about the defense right there? Doing an excellent job bothering the shooter without giving in and fouling. And here's Indiana. play either guard spot and scores and passes the rock team foul. The Knicks making a switch here. Lineup for New York. Number 40, Kurt Rufius. New York leading by three. And they've been producing at a very high level. No question they're in a nice rhythm offensively. Here's English and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. As a playmaker, Sisti has a good feel for the game and rewards his guys for getting open. Cook kicks it over to Worthy. Here's Johnson. And all of to run that time before dropping in. Johnson's got 32 points in the game. Here is Seasting. Aston Impius. English on the wing. Good for two. English. English has got 43 points. The Pacers are shooting an almost unfair 78% from the field. Cook dishes to Johnson. Shot clock at five. Yep, that one goes. Johnson's got 34 points. I love that possession. Get the ball close to the hoop. A winning play. To the middle. Here's English. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Pacers trail by five. Here's Westwood. Eight points for him. And the Pacers take on two more. Three. Here is Seasting. English outside. Driving the lane. He's that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Using his speed on the drive, English keeps the defense on their heels and gets the contact in the end. And Indiana making a change here. Mike's checked in. And here are the Pacers now, trailing by five. Cook the pass to White. Indiana moving the ball around. Down low, here's Johnson. And that one drops. And that's 36 points for Johnson. Great find from Westfall. The ball movement there, beautiful to see. The Knicks leading by three. Robinson on the wing. English inside. He gets it in there. English. English has got 49 points in the game. The basis of our game is the pass. Sharon, being a great team. Two minutes in the first half. There's 159 left in the second quarter. On the wing, Johnson. And that one off the back of the rim at the end. Johnson's got 38 points. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. Here is Seasting. Six to shoot. Releases from 15. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. Seasting doing a nice job dissecting the defense here. Taking what they give him. Wishwall passes to White. To the wing on the left. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And that pass just got away from him. Well off his target. Hey. 
We've got 108 left to play here in the half. Robinson on the wing. Pass to English. English draws the double. Here is Seasting. Six points for him. Just five to shoot. Goes back up. That one falls. Jerry Seasting has got the lead up to seven now for the Knicks. Inside amongst the trees, Seasting relies on his quickness. That's how he beats bigger guys. Cook the pass to Westfall. Back to Cook. Pass to Westfall. Now Johnson. Guided by Robinson. Wide a screen on Robinson. Johnson wide open. He fires. He cleans that one off the back iron and down it falls. The D has to be better, or else he will drain this shot. Here is Seasting. He's got eight. Robinson finds English, shoots a fader, and got it! Another basket! And he could have gone straight up with it, but by fading away, this gave him more separation and allowed him security to drain it. Nothing like setting someone up. It feels better than making a shot. To me, it is. Now it's English. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the New York Knicks. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. We've got more in store for you right after this. Hi, everyone. Glad to have you back for third quarter action of the play-in game. Alex English has been sensational. He's been selective, making the most of his opportunities on offense. And efficiency has become the buzzword. It's not just about counting stats. The percentages matter, too. And welcome to the second half of this high-stakes play-in class. Here is Seasting. Spins. English outside. Here's Lanier. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Lanier's got the first points of the second half here for New York. Johnson outside. Inside. Here's Ruin. It's hauled in by Lanier. Really good anticipation. Got a hand in the face right there. Really disruptive defensively. Great challenge. It's worthy high post. On the wing, Johnson. From 17 feet out. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Nice pass right there from him. That's putting the team first. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. English's shot is good. You know, Seastein's yes, job is to get the ball Jerry, to open Seastein. teammates. Great dime right there. Pacers trail by six. Over to the left wing. Outside worthy. Indiana moving the ball. Wishwall passes to Cook. Open shot. Johnson. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Smart pass that time by Cook. Setting up a ready shooter instead of trying to force something himself. Down low. Lanier. That's good. Lanier. Lanier's got four this quarter. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Johnson outside. And the Pacers tack on two more. New York leading by four. Seasting passes to English. Floats one up. It's rebounded by Indiana. Johnson surveying the floor. Pass to Cook. Back to Johnson. Five to shoot to the paint. Ruin misses. 
for New York. They've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Outside for Robinson. English with it. Pass to Seasting. And here is Robinson. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Time called here in the end of the South to talk it over. Alex English with a strong contribution so far in this one. So back to the drawing board for this defense. Dude is lighting them up. Trail by four. Here is Cook. That's to Ruin. Johnson outside. Five on the clock. Here's Cook. It's good from about 19 feet. Excellent job from Cook. Seeing the chance to let it go from the mid range and not passing it up. Quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. And there's the bucket from Seasting. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Cook the pass to Johnson. And another one! Great work inside from Johnson. Outstanding at keeping his composure on the break. Here is Seasting, covered by Johnson. Here's Trapuca. He's a solid producer, averaging nearly 22 points a game. And it's in there. English. English has got 55. This is why coaches preach ball movement. It keeps everyone engaged. Here is Cook. Pass to Westfall. Cook kicks to Johnson. A shot. Good. That's another bucket. Here is Seasting. Ten points for him. English left side. English draws the double. Pass to Trapuca. Shot clock at six. And he banks in the lane. Able to carve out space. Trapuco packs quite a punch down low. Worthy with it. On the wing, Johnson. Basket is good. The assist from Worthy. Worthy's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here is Seasting. English, high post. Basket, good. English. 57 points for Alex English. Boy, these squads both have come out of halftime with a lot of fresh energy. You're absolutely right. The intensity has gone up a level on both ends. Here's Westfall. 10 points for him. Here's Trapuca. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Trapuca's got four points in the quarter. Look at Trapuca using his frame to get into good, solid position. Here is Cook. Here's Johnson. And again, it's Indiana converting. Great use of the bounce pass. Tremendous execution. The Knicks lead by four. Here is Seasting. Pass to Trapuca. English outside. From 
15 feet away. Hits it again. Wow. Popping it in from mid-range. A good offense can come at you from any place. Here's Westfall. He's guarded by English. It's hauled in by Lanier. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Pass to Z-Sting. Now Robinson. English outside. Jacks up a three. A three-pointer is right on target. And it's a nine-point New York lead. Hey, no question about it. Trebuca is a threat from range. You can't let him find a shot out there. Fires from 18. That's good from Worthy and assist from Cook. Cook's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Here is Seasting. He's got 10. Trebuca passes to Seasting. New York moving the ball around. English looking around. It's Robinson high post. And the Knicks good for two. At the last possible moment, he changed out of the shot and found the open man. Good decision. Cook kicks it over to Worthy. Over Robinson. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Worthy. Awesome pass right there from Cook. This is what happens when you leave someone on his team open. Z-Sting passes to Lanier. Here is Z-Sting. Pass to Lanier. James Worthy comes up with a rebound. Here's Westfall. He's guarded by English. Now here's Johnson. Let's run up from 19. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Right now, he's their best option. You just got to keep feeding him the ball when he wants it. Yeah, counting on an efficient score could be the path to closing the point gap. Here is Seasting. Overcooked. That one a tad off line to the right, but drops in for him. Seasting's got four points now in the quarter. Cook kicks it over to Worthy. Here's Ruin. He has six. Back to Worthy. All for Robinson. It'll go, and the New York Leaders cut to just five points in the basket from Worthy. And, you know, the one thing that stood out tonight is his score. He's kept attacking even as a big trail. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. So here is New York. 
And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Yeah, the officials won't let that slide. I mean, they're eager to call out those illegal screens. I do think he was trying to get there, but you've got to be completely clear. Edwards, he's checked in for Cook. Pacers trail by five. Pass to White. On the wing, Johnson. Non-stop scoring machine here. Good, he hits again. Well, since the break, they've really increased the energy level. I love how this team is playing. Think of the effort plays. Here's the Puka. One left in the third. Pass to Wedman. Here is Seasting. Edwards defending. Just five on the clock. Trapuka. It's in. He's a very efficient five yes. for six on the game. Scott Wedman. This is how confident Trapuka is. Ready to fire as soon as he catches it. Up top, Edwards. He's got six. It'll go, and the New York Leaders cut back down to three points with the bucket from Johnson. A well-timed feed was the catalyst for that bucket. That's how you set someone up for success. Seasting passes to Nopius. Here is Seasting. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Zero hesitation from Seasting. Gets the ball and knows he's already all lined up. Up top, Edwards. Johnson right side. And the Pacers check on two more. Nice pass creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. There's 39 seconds left in the third. Here's Trapuka. He's got 11. Pass to see Sting. Let's it go from the wing. And there's another one for the Knicks. Pacers trail by five. Zero reason to rush here. No hurry. Make sure this is the last possession of the period. Be patient. Wait it out. Here's McKenna. has been the driving force for the New York Knicks. He's looking to make history here today. Who knows how many points he'll end up with when it's all said and done. We come back right after this. fourth quarter of this playing game. Outside, Edwards. Pass to McKenna. Outside, White. Indiana needs to get a shot on. Here's Shades. And it's good. The time running down in the shot clock. With no time left, he finds a way to make a play. Here's Nymphius. Here's English. Another bucket. Wow. You know, if I'm coaching this team, I'm telling everybody to get him the ball the rest of the way. And that is a major reason they're in a position to win this game. He's been a consistent, reliable scoring option all game long. Side Edwards. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. And English gets it to go. You know, we see this a lot. Both teams running their game plans flawlessly. Players are so skilled and efficient at the offensive end. Seems like neither of these teams can miss right now. 
I'm interested to see how long they're capable of keeping this up. Here is Edwards after the made shot from Alex English. His first shot coming late. It'll go, and the New York Blues cut down now to just three in the basket from White. Just keeping the game simple. He's adept at taking what he sees in these sets. McKinney pass to English. A fadeaway, and the Knicks getting another English. bucket right there. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. Canada the pass to White. Let's it fly from 18. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. English right side. Banked in off the glass. English. And now a seven-point New York lead. He is simply torching a defense that has no answers for him. Outside Edwards. Nymphius pulls it in. The Knicks leading by seven. Pass to McKinney. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Here's Wedman. Here's English. The shot from the low post is good. English has got the lead up to nine now for New York. How about the quarter from him? On a tear. Edwards passes to Rowland. And it's good. Two points. He's been very consistent. But off of fewer attempts. His team needs a higher volume from him right now. McKinney pass to English. And another one for English. Ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. Pacers trail by nine. Here's McKenna. Pass to White. Ruling. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Ruling's got four points in the quarter. Excellent timing. Outstanding positioning. You're right. Right on cue to tip in that shot. And he protects the play well. It's also paying attention. He knew exactly what he had to do there. Here's English. Softly drops in the floater. And the Knicks lead by nine. Brilliant use of the floater. Measuring it to perfection and dropping it in with ease. Edwards passes to Ruland. Indiana moving it around. Outside, White. Rocket six. Pass to Ruin. The 17 footer. White. Good. Nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. The Knicks leading by seven. McKinney passes to England. Nails the baby hook. It assistant. all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. And good that time. Got it in close, and that just about always helps. The Knicks have gotten all eight of their shots in the fourth quarter to drop. Truly remarkable. Here's McKinney. Edwards defending. Redman the pass to English. Just five to shoot. Pulls up. High post. Makes a big high post. He goes in. Pacers trail by nine. Outside, White. To the left side wing. Outside, Edward. Tries it from nine. And the Pacers tack on two more. Tough enough defense inside. They made that all too easy for him. The Knicks call time.
quarter, David Aldridge. David. Well, I had a chance to listen to the Knicks coach talk about the game with his team. He told him it's all about maintaining the lead. He told him he knows it's easy to get comfortable when you're in this position, but that they need to keep the pressure on. Guys? Thank you, David. Indiana on D. Seven-point differential. Here's Trapuca. English left side. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. A nice find by Trapuca. Making the effort to get another guy set up. And it's Cook with the ball for Indiana. Pass to Worthy. On the wing, Johnson. Worthy trying to break free. And again! They're losing, but don't blame him. He's doing everything he can to keep it close. Here is Seasting. Over Cook. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. Seasting. Pacers trail by nine. Here is Cook. Pass to Worthy. Here's Westfall. Here's Johnson. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Here is Seasting. Right wing. Outside, English. Lanier, the pass to English. Four on the clock. Lanier, that's good. Lanier. And the Knicks lead by nine. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. James Worthy on the way. Here's Westfall. I pose Johnson. And good! He hits it again. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Over to the wing. Pass to Seasting. Over Cook. And the Knicks good for two. Jerry Seasting. Pacers trail by nine. Here is Cook. Johnson, that's for two. And yep, and he dropped it rolling around the rim. This is why coaches preach ball movement. Keeps everyone engaged. English outside. New York moving the ball around to the inside. Here's Trapuca. He's guarded by Johnson. And Trapuca gets it to go. I love the efficiency he's playing with tonight. Not scoring as much as usual, but he's been effective. And he's yeah. winning. The Pacers call timeout. Passes to Seasting. Pass to English. On left of the wing. Here's Westfall. 
The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Tremendous hustle working hard for that bucket. The Knicks leading by seven. Two minutes Two minutes. There's 159 left to play in the final quarter. Pass to Trebuka. Shot clock at six. 18 feet out. That misses off the backboard. This is why you want the ball movement coach and player movement. And as a result of that, they've made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual player. This is not the time for the defense to be playing loose now. They gave him an opening there in the mid-range, and that's dangerous. And great job on offense. Getting the ball to the right guy where he can do damage. Here is Seastain. Releases. And Trapuka gets it to go. And the Knicks lead by seven. Kelly Trapuka is capable of huge nights. He is a potent offensive player. A real impact player at that end of the floor. As to Westfall. Shoots over England. And again, it's in the end. The bright lights don't blind Westfall. He's found ways to excel under those lights. Outside Robinson. English left side. Not enough on that one as it misses. There's 49 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Johnson. Another shot. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. He's got nerves of steel. Johnson is counting on late in games. Pass to Lanier. And that'll be two free throws coming out officials on the floor with the foul. It's going to go on James Worley. Draws the whistle and nearly gets it to fall. That would have been an impressive end one. But instead, he'll shoot two at the line. The Pacers call timeout. What do you think we're going to see coming out of this timeout? Can't afford to waste time. If they can get a score quick enough, they can get back on defense and try to get a stop instead of having a foul. with possession here. Trailing by five. The Pacers time call out. timeout. Seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here is Cook. Shot clock at five. Three pointer on the way. Offensive rebound, Pacers. Pass to Westfall. Johnson from outside. It's money from deep. You know, we understand both teams have been scoring with confidence. But sometimes you got to call out for defense. And this defense has been bad. Come on, sit back and enjoy the fireworks. The Knicks call time. English outside. And they go to the intentional foul.
And that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a four-point ballgame. Good composure from the line there. Those shots sealed. And what a huge win for the New York Knicks. That's and that puts a camp on it. Glad to have you with us for all the drama of the play-in tournament. For our reporter David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.